Well, just a couple of days away from uh, not only fighting for a tough championship, but a UFC title. I mean, has the, the reality of that set in? As, what, what is the emotion like right now? It's, uh, it's not as overwhelming as I thought it was going to be. You know, this, the emotions have set in, but I'm taking it day by day. Nice. I mean, everybody coming into the show thinks they have a chance, right? But there were some, some, some big names in the tournament. So when, when you saw the competition when you first got in, I mean, were you so sure that, hey, I can do this? Or was there a little bit of like, wow, those are some, those are some tough fighters? Um, of course, there are some moments of like, oh, my gosh, should I really be here? Like, am I the fluke? <laughs> but um, as soon as I got that first fight out of the way, you know, I just felt like I found my rhythm. And then uh, in practice, I was seeing what all the girls were doing. And I was like, I can hang, you know, you know. Very nice. So talk about from the time on the show till now. I mean, you've got all this time to A, keep the secret inside of yourself, but B, to get yourself ready for a UFC title fight. What's, what's that time been like and what's the focus been like in the gym for you? Um, the folk, my focus has never been like clearer, you know, my coaches have been helping out with every aspect of my game. Um, I feel like since I've moved to Albuquerque, I've become more well-rounded before that I was, you know, just a jujitsu practitioner basically. But now I feel like I can comfortably say that I'm a well-rounded fighter. Um, and they've just been getting in the details and fine tuning. Uh, it's been a really, really fun couple of months since the show, and I'm ready to go in there. Has it been tough for you to, to sit on this knowledge and keep it secret? I mean, it's one thing when it's just a tough title, but when it's a UFC title as well, I got to think it's been difficult. Yeah, it's been pretty difficult. I have a huge family between my mom's side and my dad's side, and they're like, just tell me. You can tell me. Come on. You know, Auntie Dee Dee, you can tell me. I'm like, I can't tell you. Stop it. So, you know, everybody and anybody's like you can tell me like no, no i can't <laughs> not, not not paying those millions yeah uh kind of a surprise opponent in the in the finals as well right talk about kind of the the matchup and how, how you feel you fa you know face up with it yeah both uh you know very low in the seats um sajar is a really tough opponent you know i've got to see what she's capable of i unfortunately haven't seen her and roxanne's fight just yet but uh but I've seen a lot of her fights on Invicta. You know, I followed her since we first tried out for the 35 a couple years ago. Both of us uh, recognized each other when we tried out for the 25. And we we're like, hey, what's up? You know, kind of nonchalant. And then next thing you know, we're fighting for the, K for the, for the title in the octagon. So it's kind of so surreal, but it's my reality right now. And, and last thing for me, I mean, so it's kind of interesting. You haven't seen the episode that airs tonight as we speak now. Yeah. So will you kind of be tuning in and, and, and scouting and watching it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll watch it before I fight her for sure. But, you know, right now it's kind of just my fight, what I can go in there and demonstrate, you know, what I've, uh, what I've grown to do, what I've developed since the show, um, and just having fun, number one. You talked about kind of the training since, since the show and you started trying to get better. How, how has that training been different than what you were doing before? Has it been like more intense and knowing what's on the line, has it kind of changed how you've trained? No, actually, it hasn't been more intense at all. Um, we've actually toned down a lot <laughs> and uh, we've um, started to really strategize. You know, I think I'm comfortable enough to now go in and implement my strategy, at least part of it. Um, so we're just, you know, getting comfortable in the octagon. You said you tried out for tough before. Mm -hmm. how, how, how did you get, how much better did you get from the first time you tried out till the second time? And do you think you were re actually ready to kind of, you know, be at that level before? Um, I don't think anybody thinks of themselves as ready per se, whenever they have these opportunities. I think they're just kind of like, you know, you gotta do it, you gotta prove to yourself, gotta prove to anybody at any given point, you know, who knows if you're ready until you're actually in there doing your job. But uh, I think I've, you know, I've had three more fights since then between the two, between the 35 tryouts and the 25 tryouts. And I think I've grown. I've grown my confidence for sure. And I think my skills have developed very well since then. You talked about not being as well known as some of the bigger names coming into the, the show. Um, apart from obviously winning fights and knocking off bigger seeds, is there a moment looking back in training or preparation of the show where you realize that everybody around you was starting to realize you, you were going to be a force to be reckoned with even though maybe they had not known a lot about you prior? Um. Yeah, could you repeat that question again? Sorry, or are you, are you yeah. talking about the, my teammates or? Or the other team. Anybody that saw you in practice, apart from actually winning the fights, where you just sort of felt that vibe change, like people yeah. are now understanding that they need to keep an eye on you. Yeah, I did, you know. Um, 
as soon as I was cracking pads mm -hmm. in uh, in tryouts, I had some eyes on me and like, who's that? Who's that? And I'm like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, with my team, though, as far as my team goes, you know, my coaches have had faith in me since day one. You know, my old coach at Durango Martial Arts, Chris Jones, my coaches now, John Judy, Tom Vaughn, and Arlene Sanchez, they're like, you got it. And, you know, it just takes me to believe in it. So, yeah. How was, uh, you know, being seen on the show and, you know, kind of going through that where people now recognize you a little bit, how has that kind of changed for you? Um, it hasn't really, you know, I've kind of <coughs> kept off social media since the show just because everything's kind of overwhelming. I've blocked a couple of family members <laughs> just for the week. <laughs> but, um, you know, if I, if there's a, if there's, if I'm getting overwhelmed, I know how to just tone it down and get into my zone. So, I mean, that could, that could even take a huge step up if you're a champion. I mean, yeah. you thought about that and, you know, kind of prepared yourself mentally for how that will be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think my mental game is pretty strong. You know, I'm pretty balanced. I have a good support system and group of people here who uh, who can help build me. You know, and if I get stressed out, they know how to calm me down. <laughs> um, as far as social media goes and everybody recognizing me from the show, that really hasn't been an issue. Nobody has been like, "You're Nico Montano," just yet. So I'm all right.